How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pack to the Future today, episode number 88. And as you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail of today's episode, we are going to be going ahead and upgrading to our second prime icon of the series. I'm very excited to do this and we need to get it done fairly quickly in today's episode because they are only available for another 1 hour and 30 minutes before they disappear well, maybe not forever. Who knows if EA bring back all the Prime Icons at some point later on in the year. But before we do get into today's episode, guys, last night, very, very, very late, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I op uh, I did a video on my channel. It wasn't a Pack to the Future episode, but it was a load of SBC packs on the Pack to the Future account. So it kind of like was a Pack to the Future episode. Um, we opened 50 Premier League 2 player packs. And, uh, pff, guys, we had some insane luck. Ridiculous luck. And uh, after opening 50 81 plus two player Premier League packs, it did allow us to complete a lot of the Frank Reichard SBC. So, as you can see here, I've already completed the 83, 84, and 85 rated squads. They were all done on video, on camera. Go and check out the video last night if you haven't watched it already. Basically, as we opened the 50 two-player packs, every time I got an 84, an 85, or an 86, um, that was a duplicate that I didn't want to discard. We basically went ahead and submitted one of these squads so that... Um, we uh, didn't have to discard any players and it was the most efficient way of doing things. Uh, also guys, we opened a two player pack. If, you've got, if you guys have seen the video yesterday, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. I opened one two player pack. I got two 88 rated players in one pack. That's absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, they're both from the Premier League, pardon me. Uh, you guys can probably take a guess at who the two 88 rated players were. We've already used one in the 85 rated squad. And in today's video, we are now going to go ahead and submit the rest of these squads so that we can get Frank Reichard into our team. who's going to be replacing Ander Herrera. So if you do go and watch that video, guys, leave it a cheeky little like for me. It would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, getting into today's video, uh, we've got the 86 rated squad that we are going to be uh, using first, submitting first, I should say. If you would have seen my episode two days ago, we got two inform Jekos. I, I don't, I don't, that is crazy. It's helped us out massively. So packing the inform Jekko and packing the two 88 rated players yesterday in the two player pack has helped us massively, absolutely massively with this Frank Reichard SBC. Besides that then, we're going to be using a Milinkovic Savic. We've got loads of him on the transfer list waiting as duplicates. We've got a Pjanic. Um, we've got a Sammy Kadira. Uh, we've got a Bonucci who we've we actually used. We've used him in four games. I didn't realise that. Uh, we're using Manlas who's never made an appearance for us. I think we used Handanovic. We haven't used Handanovic, or maybe we used him earlier on in the series. Fakir, we got in an episode like two days ago, and we're going to be using new 85, well, the upgraded Lacazette, which we also got out of the packs uh, late last night. So for that, we are getting a rare mega pack as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, moving on then, guys, we're going to be submitting the bronze squad next. Uh, you only need 75 chemistry on this, fairly easy, you just need to throw a couple rare bronze players together, very, very simple indeed. Um, next up then you've got to be submitting a rising talent squad, which is a silver squad. A uh, few players out of position there, but we've got a couple of strong links as well, which helps us gain that 75 chemistry that is required uh, for that requirement. Moving on then, we are going to be submitting the world class uh, this is just non. Uh, this is just rares. I beg your pardon. No uh, minimum rating. Uh, we just went with Premier League players simply because I was opening so many Premier League two player packs that I wanted to try and get as many uh, Premier League players through the cycle, if that makes sense. And then don't know when we packed this guy. You needed two informs, and then McBurney. Uh, we actually packed him like last week. I remember him popping up in a pack. So. Uh, Two informs there submitted. Um, we could have done that one probably a little bit cheaper, but I did want to use Premier League players. <clears throat> Pardon me, as uh, that is what we were using. Uh, that was what we were opening the two player packs for. Finally, then, guys, as Frank Rijkaard is a fairly solid icon, uh, prime icon, 
That does mean that we're going to have to submit our base icon Larson. We packed him a couple of days ago in the base icon SBC. He played for us in one episode, making two appearances. He scored two goals and got himself four assists. Now, I would have actually liked to keep him um, as he would have got a strong link to flashback Ibrahimovic. We could have made some really nice squads with him, but Frank Rijkaard disappears in literally under an hour and a half now, guys, and Frank Rijkaard makes a brilliant, brilliant addition to our squad, and uh, we'll be waving goodbye to Ander Herrera. So, And also, we get a jumbo rare players pack, so you never know if we could get something deep. Ima imagine if we got an icon, our first icon in today's video, from a pack, I mean. So, um, yeah. Henrik Larsson, my friend, you've been a, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. So, that is all the squads complete then, guys. Frank Reichard has been complete. Thanks to those two player packs, um, we actually managed to do them very, very cheaply. Um, as we got loads of 84s, 5, 6, and 288 rated players from the two player packs to help us. So there he is then, guys. CDM. We're going to be playing him as a centre mid due to his medium, medium work rates. He is also 6 foot 2, has brilliant passing, good defensive, good physical, and he's not too slow. He's basically a much... He's very similar to Ander Herrera in the sense of, like, the player he is. But his stats are just way, way, way higher, much better. Um, so he's a, a he's a huge, huge improvement on Ander Herrera. So 90 rated Frank Rijkaard. Look at that physical. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Defending's good. So he's going to be doing some good defending for us in the middle of the park. Uh, good dribbling. 90 reactions. Uh, 88 reactions being part of 90 ball control. 72 composure. 87 long, uh, long, yeah, long passing and 90 short passing and... 82 long shots as well, so um, we're going to be putting, um, I think we're going to be putting a Maestro chem style on him. And um, yeah, guys, fantastic addition to Pack to the Future. Very, very nice indeed. So let's go ahead and open up those packs. Our luck last night on Pack to the Future was absolutely nuts, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. The question is, can we continue with that pack luck today. So let's get these, uh, I think it's actually just the one silver pack we've got to open there. 100k pack as well, uh, so that will help us out with future silver SBCs as well. Gold player pack as well, not the greatest in the world. Um, no walkout in it, is we, literally nothing. Who's that, Italian Condreva or someone? Not, it's a Pol Polita Politano, 82 rated. Uh, from Serie A, not too bad, um, nobody else in there, so we'll discard those, um, and next up then guys, we've actually, phew, nice packs here, 100k, uh, rare mega pack, what's that? Mega packs are 35, so it's better than, better than a 35k pack, and I didn't see what this end one here was that I've just opened, no walkout, can we get a board from it? We can't, that's unlucky, it uh, Italian? French, sorry. Right, oh, not great. 81 rated from Ligue 1. Mm. We've had better. We've had better in our Pack to the Future days. Um, some nice rare silvers here. So again, will help us out with more silver squads in the future. I'm going to keep those guys. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? There's nothing there, EA. What are you doing? If we go over to the transfer market now, you guys will be able to see all of these players here We'll be able to go back to the to the squad. Uh, Fabinho, Sound, Vidal won't. I don't know why I did that. With Fabinho. Um, who did, do we use any of the players here? I don't actually think Mkhitaryan could go back. Uh, if we go to page three, do any can any, any of those? Rabio can. Not too bad. And then page four. Uh, Ilira Mendy maybe? Yes, Ilira Mendy can go back to the club. And then I'll just do one more page uh, just to free up some room on the transfer list. I think Willian might be able to. Yes, he can. Uh, how much room did that make for us on the... So we can save six players now from... Uh, the duplicates here. So, let's go with the rare Mega Pack first. Can we get a walkout EA? No, we can't. Can we get a board? Yes, we can. We are going to be getting a Spanish goalkeeper, eight, upgraded 84 Kepa, not too bad in the slightest. Uh, he'll definitely be going into an SBC very, very soon. Any duplicates in there? 
Uh, we'll keep Pedro and the rest can get discarded. And then finally, guys, before we go and make the improvement to our squad today, we've got 100k pack for submitting that Larson. We've got a walkout from it. Come on, be an icon. It's not an icon. We are getting a... Alexandro. Hey, that's solid, guys. That is very, very solid. A player we haven't packed and packed to the future before. Very nice indeed. 86 rated Alexandro. Just what I wanted to see. Nice. Uh, is there going to be anyone in the duplicates? I will take that. One of my favourite left backs in the game. Uh, his informs are absolutely brilliant. Do we have any nice duplicates? Kadir in there as well. Okay, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. And then we'll keep those just uh, for some SBCs in the near future. So, really nice return on the packs there, guys. Really nice return on the packs. Let's head over to the squad. Um, what we're going to be doing then is we're going to be taking Ander Herrera out. And we're going to be putting in... Our new addition this episode, Frank Reichard. Very, very nice. So he's going to be playing centre mid, literally the exact role that Ander Herrera was playing for us. And I'm going to be putting a maestro on him. Uh, do I want to? Do I want maestro? I would like to bump up his shooting a little bit. Do I want maestro or do I want engine? Maestro, I mean, it's almost identical. It's almost identical. Um, however, Maestro does give Rijkaard a massive boost in his shooting, which I believe is his lowest stats on his card. Um, so if we have a look now, it's giving him something. Wow, well, he's giving him 92 long shots and 96 shot power. 75 volley is not too fussed about, but his passing has got a really nice boost there. His dribbling has got a really nice boost as well. He's now up to 85 dribbling, which we, he's really needed, to be fair. Solid card. Really, really solid card. So um, I've brought back Van Arnold. We had Robertson there yesterday, guys. I just love Van Arnold. He's un I think it's the most underrated card on FIFA 19. And we've also brought back... Um, Carver Howe at right back for Footmus Valencia. We're going to be playing David Luiz as a centre-back this episode, guys. Um, I think we're going to be playing him as a centre-back for the foreseeable future. Reason being is, now that we've got rid of Ander Herrera, I don't think David Luiz replaces Rijkaard Lerma, who's our CDM, or Fabinho. I absolutely love Fabinho, who we are allowed to upgrade because we've packed him... Uh, I think we've packed him like four times on Pack to the Future. So uh, this is the squad we're going to be using for today's episode then, guys. Let's jump into our first game. Let's check out our opposition squad. Let's see who Frank Rijkaard's going to be taking on on his day. Oh, he's coming up against himself. That's a really nice team. That's a really, really nice team. Very, very, very similar to ours as well. Um, we've obviously got Nesta instead of Rio Ferdinand. He's also got Flash, uh, Endovira Petr Cech and goal. Oh, headsets going on, boys. This is going to be a battle of the Frank Rijkaard's in midfield. Come on. It's a beautiful ball. It's Mohamed Salah. Oh, Rio Ferdinand get bullied, son. Get absolutely bullied. Brilliant ball through to Mohamed Salah. We actually hit our opponent on a brilliant counter-attack there. Textbook counter-attack stuff. Rio Ferdinand, mate, just got absolutely mugged off. I'm really scared about George Best, by the way. Really scared. Rashford on the left foot. Don't tell me that came off my own player. It is a corner. Come on. We've got a nice height here. We've added to the height... Salah, I mean, why is Salah in the box? I don't want him in the box because I always somehow manage to get it to lock onto him. Oh, what a ball from Rijkaard, that is. Oh, it's beautiful stuff. It's beautiful stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a disgusting rebound, but it's beautiful stuff all around, boys. Really nice counter-attack. Fantastic ball from Frank Rijkaard to release the counter-attack to, I, I think, 
I think it was... I don't know who that was down the right-hand side, but I think we played the ball inside to Marcus Rashford, and he managed to get the tap-in at the end. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. My opponent's just got, like, the three luckiest... Really nice skill from my opponent there, but before that, on the build-up, he got the three luckiest, luckiest bounces in the world. So everybody couldn't get a tackle off. Really nice skill there. Lack cricketers, I just couldn't lock onto the tackle. Nice, to be fair. Nice. Salah from kickoff. Too easy. Kickoff is so, so OP. It, it generally ruins this game, kickoff. Oh, beautiful ball. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, that spin from Felipe Anderson sold David Luiz all the way back to PSG. He's quit. The exact same thing as yesterday, guys. That's weird. Two two episodes in a row. I haven't had that for a, a long, long time on Packs of the Future. In the middle of play, and he's either turned off his console or just dashboard. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, though, I mean, he got an assist, but we didn't actually manage to get Frank Reichard on the score sheet on his debut, which is a shame. But we have won. 4-1, which is absolutely fantastic. You can see there from the stats, uh, I had double the amount of shots, double the amount on target, much better possession, and uh, much better pass accuracy as well. So that is another really, really... you got man on the match. Uh, Solided at cam, 9.5. Brilliant, brilliant performance. Right, with that then, we're going to be making a little bit of progress in Division Rivals, which we haven't done in quite a while now. I know we won back-to-back -back games in yesterday's episode, uh, but it's plus 80 on... It doesn't really... Who cares about foot champs? We're already qualified. Only, only 26? That's very low. And, uh, oh, okay. I don't actually want to get into Rank 2 because the Rank 2 rewards... Oh, we're up in... Oh, wait. We must have dropped down into Division 4. Oh, so now we're back into Division 3. Okay. My mistake. I thought in yesterday's episode we were in a we're in division we're in division three already, but apparently we dropped out of it. So um yeah, on that we're gonna be opening seven 15k packs and a promo. So let's open the first four for the goals scored. We need as many boards as possible now just to stock up the club again so we can do some more SBCs. Uh, I, want to, I want to do some um, want-to-watch SBCs uh, this week. So if we could get some players to help us do that, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, so, um, with FIFA points. Pack number two. Can we get a board? Can we get a walkout? Can we get something cheeky? Oh, that's, I mean, you asked for a board. You get a board. Fantastic. 85, please, maybe. Sal? Moreno, is it? It is Moreno. Gerard Moreno, 83 rated. Not too bad in pack number two. At least it was a board. At least it was a board. I'm still shot. Oh, perfect link in there. I'm still shocked at the fact we've never had an icon in a pack. With the amount of packs we've opened in Pack of the Future, we're getting towards episode 100. Is that back to... Oh, I thought that was back to back boards. We're in almost at episode 100 now, and we still haven't had... Was that Uth? A walkout in a... a not a walkout. We've had plenty of walkouts, to be fair. We've not had any icons. Uh, so pack number three there, giving us Uth. Pack number four. Come on. Come on, EA. No walkout. Give us a cheeky board. Not a board. It is... Christensen. Not too bad. Uh, 82 rated from the Premier League. I think I'll be keeping him, I think. Uh, Mustafi in there as well. Ooh, yeah, we'll keep Christian. So now that maxes out our transfer list. Right, now we've got three packs, guys, for the rage quit there. Come on. Oh, keep thinking these are boards and they're just not. Italian, right mid. We've had him twice this episode. Okay. Okay. Pack number one for the Rage Crit. Not too great. Pack number two for the Rage Crit. Can it be any better? Please, EA. Not a walkout. Where are the 
the boards at today? The boards are hiding. Right. No, thank you. And then finally, we've got one more 15k pack, guys, for that rage quit. Uh, Prato, they can get discarded. Uh, we need 50 points. Last 15k pack for that rage quit, then. Who are we gonna get? We're not getting a walkout. Can we get a board, please? Oh my goodness me. Rough packs, seven 15k packs, 183. That's really bad if you think about it. That is really Enzonzi. That is really bad if you think about it. Two Roman players in there. Right, as we did score, well, essentially we won that game 7-1. We do get a promo pack. We're going to go with the Syria Prime Players Pack simply because it's just a better pack. Uh, I don't really care about the fact that it's only Syria. I just need players for SBC. So if we could get a walk out here, that would be fantastic. We haven't. Can we get an 85? It's a board. Can we get an 85, please? Spanish. S <sighs> Rough. Eight, I mean, it's, it's a board. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit higher rated than that, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, we got upgraded uh, Kolarov, though. That's not too bad. Oh, okay. I was wondering why he wasn't the, uh, why he was on the board, but, you know, equal rating, so it could have been either of them. But, yeah, newly upgraded yesterday, 83 Kolarov. Not too bad, and the rest can get discarded. Our next opponent of today's episode, then, guys, is... There's always got Hyunmin Son up front, Mane again, Fabinho Deli Ali Decore, uh, League SBC Decore, Aspliqueta, interesting centre backs, very interesting centre backs. He's got a really nice squad and he's also got a pretty trash right back with just bog standard Valencia. Hopefully, we can get another win. Oh, look at that pace. Look at. Oh, if we missed that, look at that pace. Marcus Rashford absolutely obliterated Alonso at the left-back spot. Oh, my goodness me. It wasn't even... He didn't even struggle to get past him there. Come on, Marcus Rashford. That's a foul. That's got to be a foul. You can't just smash into someone from behind like that. Can you? Unless the rules of football have changed. Oh, come on. We've created some three nice chances in the first 12 minutes here. Come on, we've got past him there though. We've got past the Coro there. We're gonna go alone. <sighs> should have should have swung inside there and just finessed it, I reckon. Good ball, that's a really nice ball. It's a fantastic ball. <laughs> Unbelievable ball. Is that Patrick Van Arnold? It was Van Arnold. Unbelievable. His jumping is like 98. Unbelievable header. I can't get the ball to my attackers. My opponent's CDMs are sat so... In fact, let's have a look at how my opponent is lining up. Because Decore is in the way that, all the time. Yeah, okay. So, his Fabinho and Decore are sat literally just in front of the two centre-backs. Um, and it's proving like two walls that I need to get past. And they've made so many interceptions. Uh, I can't tell you. So I might have to change my, uh, my tactics in the second half. Mertens is coming on. We're one new up. So this is going to be a tough second 45 minutes. Frank Rijkaard. What can you do for us here? Ah, uh, poor from Frank Rijkaard. Really, really poor that. Now got to deal with a nice attack from my opponent. Poor from Frank Rijkaard. We're on a really nice counter-attack there. He should have completed that pass. What on earth have I just seen from two corners? Oh, no. That's got to be a goal. Pair checks keeping us in this right now. Right, Rijkaard, redeem yourself, dude. There we are. That's better. Man, Decore's literally playing like a centre-back. Oh, this is this is nice. This is nice. Fabinho. Frank Rijkaard. Oh, Frank Rijkaard! Come on! There it is. The home fans are going nuts, guys. I can hear them. The home fans 
are going absolutely nuts. He was literally about two yards outside the box there, which does mean that that brings into account his uh, his long shots. Fantastic, not from kickoff. We're gonna make a sub there, guys. Uh, we're gonna change our attack a little bit. We're gonna bring on bring off Felipe Anderson. And I'm tempted to put on Carlos. Yeah, let's put on Carlos Tevez. Let's try him out. We've got 15 more minutes to go. We're 2-0 up. I can't believe that Frank Reichardt goal. What an absolute monster. On the half volley. 15 minutes to go. My opponent started to put on some nice pressure. Wow. My opponent just absolutely banged the crossbar in the 91st, well, 92nd minute. Come on, let's get... We're on the attack there, Ref. Come on, we went for our third goal. Right. That guy, that opponent made us work a little bit harder. But, man, Frank Reichardt's goal. I can't believe it. 2-0 win. Let's go. Four wins out of four now in um, division rivals. Let's have a look at our Frank Reichardt goal. So, okay, so it came to Fabinho. Oh, this is during our Fabinho wide little period. Um, I think I went for a sim. Oh yeah, I went for a finesse here. Two centre backs closed it down. Mertens challenged Decore there. Dropped down to Rijkaard. What does he controls that on his knee? Sets himself. It's actually on the. Vo oh no, it bounces. Sets it up. Oh, what a strike! What a strike, Frank Rijkaard. Beautiful stuff. So that does mean then, guys, we're going to be opening two more packs. Also, does mean we've made some nice. Uh, progress into I don't want to go into rank 2 because rank 2 doesn't give you okay so that's fine so we're going to be getting rank 3 rewards tomorrow which are actually better than rank 2 whole things backwards but hey who am I um, anyway 215k packs to wrap today's episode up guys we've brought in our second prime icon of the series and Frank Reichardt has proven in those two games. He made one mistake in the second half when he didn't get the ball through to uh, Rashford when I would have liked. But besides that, very, very nice overall and a fantastic goal on the half volley to secure us that um, second win in the episode. So finally then, guys, who are we getting? Give us a board to end on. Please. No. Okay. Right, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today's episode of Pack to the Future. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.